Hey everybody, I'm back for another narrated PBR match against a random Wi-Fi opponent using my UU doubles team. I've made a significant change to the lineup. I've replaced Arcanine, who just really wasn't working out, with a new guy. Everyone say hi to Charizard. Hi Charizard! Actually, his name's Pidgey, uh, which is a joke stemming back from the first time I played Pokemon. I think Pidgey was the first Pokemon I caught, um, except for it was a real Pidgey, and I called him... Uh, Charizard is kind of a joke. Uh, anyway, the battle starting off. Um, I see uh, Infernape, and I immediately think Fake Out. Uh, it's just a thing in my mind, so I switch out who I believe he's going to Fake Out, which is Charizard, um, and end up predicting wrong, and he uses Blast Burn, which 99% of the time is a wrong move to use on a Pokemon, but in this case, um, it was the right move because he only was going to last one turn, and by using Blast Burn, he got uh, Kira, my Gardevoir, down to uh, range that uh, um, Shadow Punch was able to finish it off. So we're each down one Pokemon. Um, he sends out his Clay Doll. And I don't know what I was thinking. I send Charizard back out. Um, again, really not sure what I was... Oh, well, I mean, I didn't even know at that point. Um, so Rotom uses Substitute. Um, and I'm really not sure... Uh, what to do about these two guys that I'm up against. Um, I use Dragon Pulse against Claydol. I'm not sure why Dragon Pulse is on there. I'm probably going to replace it with something else. I'm not sure if uh, Pidgey, that is Charizard, can learn um, Ice Punch. Well, that would be really nice. Um, Just Noir use Payback Breaks the Substitute. Um, and I'm really glad that sub was up because it would have done a lot more than 25% had that sub not been up. Um, then again, I didn't do any damage that turn e either. Um, so I consider my options. I pull back Charizard, realizing, um, you know, I've got better choices. I think when I saw that Clay Doll, I was really expecting it to explode. You know, I haven't really seen Clay Dolls do much of anything else. Um, so <coughs> uh, I, at this point, I'm pretty sure it's not going to explode. Instead, it uses Stone Edge, so I'm really glad I switched out um, Pidgey. Uh, Lantern absorbs the hit, doesn't really do much. Dust Noir does payback. I figure, okay, Rotom's down. But Rotom survives with uh, almost no HP, but it survives. And it's going to be able to finish off um, that uh, Dust Noir the next turn. Yep, here we go with Shadow Ball. Um, by this point, I guess you guys have noticed, uh, I've taken out all the selection screens in this battle. I'm not going to do that for every battle, but just, you know, I, uh, I didn't really have too much to say on this one, so I figured I'd... Uh, quicken the pace. Two Stone Edges hit in a row. I've never seen that. A Stone Edge is a pretty inaccurate move. But he takes out a uh, little Rotom. That's okay. Rotom did uh, a fair amount of good this battle. Lantern uses Hydro Pump, takes out Claydol. Um, yeah, I mean, I really thought that guy was going to explode, especially considering his partner was Dusk Noir, who we wouldn't have done anything to, but maybe he just didn't want to settle for only taking out... Um, my uh, one Pokemon since Rotom's immune to it. Um, so I send Charizard back out again, even though he's not going to do anything. This wasn't his best match. Um, this was my first match using um, Pidgey, that is Charizard. Um, and so I haven't really gotten the hang of him. I still think he's going to work out better than, um, who's uh, than Arcanine because he's immune to Thunderbolt, uh, not Thunderbolt, Earthquake. Thunderbolt finishes the match for me. Um, so that means that considering I have two Earthquake people on my team, that's going to give me a lot more flexibility. The game is now over. I have won the match. Short but sweet. Uh, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, I've got some more battles for you uh, that I'll be putting up soon. Uh, take care.